In this video, we're going to look at file management. So we've now programmed most of our show, and we now need to save it and look at how we can reload our show later on if we needed to as well. So if we go to our setup window, view settings, you've got a soft button along the top here for save show. When you hit save show, it brings up a keypad where you can then save your show. So let's call it training demo and enter. You'll see it's now saved my show and in the command line it reports saved show and you'll see the file name there with a .shw, .show file. That show is now saved on the disk and I can reload that later on if I start in a new show. So if I hit new show, erase that show from memory, I can now go back and find that show and reload it. If I hit the load show soft button at the top, it takes me into my show folder and you can see I've got a number of different shows here. You can sort this folder by date by clicking on the soft button here and you'll see here is my training demo dot show file which I can click and load as my show file. Magic Q does take backups of shows as well, and they're .sbk files, show backup files. We always advise a, a user to save their show regularly whenever you're programming. But if something happens to your show, maybe you've gone for lunch and someone saves over your show, deletes some Q stacks, there is a backup file which you can load in, which is the same information as held in your show file, but it's the auto backup that's happened in the background. This doesn't replace the user saving the show themselves. To find your backup files, if you go to load show and yes, and sort again by date and have a look through the folder, you'll notice some files in here called .sbk. That's the latest backup for a particular show file name. So I might have training demo .shw and you can see at the top here .sbk, the backup. The backups happen more recently than me saving the show. So I could click that and it would load like a normal show. MagicQ does also keep an archive of historic backups as well. To load a backup file and look in the archive, hold your shift key down when in this window and you'll see load show changes to load backup. Under load backup then takes you into the backup directory where you can toggle to advanced view and again sort by date and you can see all of the historic backups which you can go in and load. So if, if uh, error happened in your show where someone deleted something and saved a day before you noticed it you can come back to your backup archive and find the backup from that day and load it in to transfer files around on your pc to a console the easiest way of doing it is to go to the file menu and select open show folder this takes you to the show directory on your windows or mac application and shows you the folder containing all of your shows here. You can now simply select show files and you could copy them over to a USB drive. When you're back on your console, you can simply load and save from USB directly. So you could copy from my PC here onto a USB drive, connect to a console, go to setup, go to load show and yes, and I could toggle to the USB drive view to see my connected USB drive and load a show from it. On a console, you can directly use the backup to USB button to send a show file to a USB drive. So that concludes our Magic Cube basic training series. You can also find on the CAMSYS website, as you can see here, our intermediate video training series, along with many feature videos for Magic Cube and installation videos for Magic Cube, along with videos for our QuickU software as well.